You might have thought that an island nation hundreds of miles away from any landmass would have been a reassuringly safe place to be in recent weeks. But in that time, the mesmerizing beauty of the so-called land of fire and ice enticed in plenty of visitors. Icelanders themselves headed in and out for work and pleasure. And yet this small nation hit back against the arrival of COVID with a strategy of test, test, test. And unusually, not just on the sick, but the seemingly healthy. Not a single person in this busy private clinic has shown the faintest sign of having the virus, but they've turned up anyway to be tested, for reassurance, to make sure they don't spread disease unwittingly, and to provide blood for research into antibodies to fight COVID. Iceland now believes it has tested a higher percentage of people than any other nation. More than 45,000 samples have been taken from a population of just 360,000. Over 40% of those who tested positive had no symptoms at the time and were quickly isolated. The country's prime minister admits being a small nation has its advantages, but they're keen to share what they've learned with the world. It's easier to get information to everybody. Uh, I think we have shown a lot of solidarity also, and that's very Icelandic, maybe because we're a small nation on an island. But testing is only part of Iceland's success story, which has seen the number of cases drop to a daily handful, On one day recently, none at all. Huge effort has gone into tracking contacts of people confirmed to be infected. Iceland's approach of test, track and isolate has allowed it to avoid some of the more draconian restrictions imposed by other nations. But the government has now decided anyone entering the country has to quarantine. Believing they've got on top of the virus, they don't want to risk travellers spreading it again.